Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my hair care routine, my favorite hair products, and I also want to share with you some of my favorite tips that keep my hair healthy and strong. I think we should start with what I normally do to my hair. So I try to wash it once to twice a week. I do not wash my hair every day or even every other day. I try to go as long as possible. Um, I love using hydrating shampoos and conditioners. And once a month, I'll use a clarifying scrub or clarifying shampoo. I never ever brush my hair or comb my hair when it's wet. I always use a Mason Pearson brush to uh, brush through all of the tangles right before I get in the shower. Then I get in the shower, shampoo, condition, use a mask, rinse my body while I wait for the mask, and then get out of the shower and use um, a turban. And my turban towel of choice is the Aquis um, I love the luxe one and the waffle one. And these are my favorite colors, white and pink. Um, they are of extremely high quality and they ensure that your hair stays strong while it's wet. So it expedites the drying process and um, also keeps it very safe you know in the turban so you should never comb it after it's wet you should just let it dry until about it's maybe 80 percent dry and then you can further brush um but i want to talk to you about what i do to let my hair dry naturally what i did do is take it out of the turban and then immediately um just went like this and this was you know, because it's still wet, it's easy to manipulate. So I just went like this and made it really, really straight and then um, twisted a couple of times and then used these amazing hair ties. Uh, these are from Playa, but you can get it from anywhere and then just made a little lower bun and then I went to sleep with it. So um, in the process, you can use any amount of products to make it more wavy or more straight. Um, it's kind of up to you, but that's how I naturally dry my hair. And it turns out to be very, very smooth and um, without any frizz. So it's still wet from last night because I just washed it, but you can see how tame it is. So as far as products go, after it's uh, a little bit more dry because it's still damp, especially right here, I would use uh, a hair oil, like the Gizu hair oil, which is my favorite, um, or a finishing cream. And then the oil depends how I'm feeling that day and depends on the weather. Okay, so now that routine is out of the way, let me talk to you about the products that I use. And I am definitely a hair care junkie. I have so much stuff. This is just an overview of my favorites. Please don't judge me for how many things I use. Um, I tried to go through them, but because of what I do, brands send me new hair care stuff all the time. So it's really hard to finish a product. I wish I was just using, you know, my one shampoo that I love, but um, I just have so many options and totally grateful for that. But um, let's start with the brush. So this is the Mason Pearson brush. I'm using the popular size. This is a great size for um, any hair length that's, you know, below the shoulder. So I really love this brush so much. I know that it's such a luxurious product, but you're only gonna buy one brush once. I, I remember I used to have multiple brushes and I would just grab whichever one and I wasn't pleased with any of them. My hair was always a mess before I started using this. This is a mixture of nylon and boar bristles. So it helps distribute the oils from the top of your scalp through the rest of the hair. So it really protects. And then the nylon uh, really detangles without causing any tears or uh, breakage. So this is definitely a catalytic product to 
keeping your hair strong and healthy. It's really important. Okay, so next let's go to shampoo. Okay, so I have quite a few of shampoos to go over. I'm just gonna quickly browse through them. The Gizu one is one of my favorites. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair is such an amazing shampoo. I love it. It is so hydrating, so repairing. If your hair is feeling dry, you need this. Um, the Revitalizing Shampoo by Balmain. This one will make your hair feel like silk. Um, and then my all-time favorite, I will always have a bottle of this, is the Signature Shampoo by Orbe. It's truly such an amazing staple. Last one that I love right now is the Everyday Shampoo by Playa, and this one is so, so gentle. It has an amazing scent. The ingredients are very clean and natural. Um, I'm not really into that, but um, it's just what it says on the bottle. So yeah, it's sulfate-free and paraben-free. Um, I love the branding and the message behind this brand because it's all about leaving your hair natural and your texture to shine through. So um, it's definitely one of my favorite shampoos because it's so, so gentle and hydrating, but it still gets rid of all of the gunk. Something that's really important to me is doing a scalp scrub and I use the Christophera Bond one. This one is the cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. This is a staple. I have the mini one because that's what they send me, but I'm probably gonna grab the large tub. Even though you only need the tiniest bit um, every time because it lathers so much. So I do that once a month and then um, I think that's the... So yeah, that's the last of the shampoos, but to follow up on the Christophe Rabanne, I always use their um, Jelly Zinc, Magnesium, Calcium, and Potassium combo that remineralizes the hair and revitalizes it. It is so nourishing. Um, so yeah, once a month when I do that, I have the best hair days. Okay, so conditioners and masks, pretty much all the shampoos that I mentioned, their pairs are my favorite favorite as well. So the Gizu one is amazing. The Gizu mask is amazing. I like to use a conditioner and a mask. Um, the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair makes a conditioning mask that matches the shampoo. Um, I love the Playa one. All of the shampoos I mentioned the matching conditioners are perfect. One of my all-time favorite treatments for the hair is the Whey Treatment Mask. This one is so good. It instantly makes your hair feel like silk. Okay, so next let's go to styling products. So I'm going to talk about priming creams or finishing creams that help uh, moisturize and give a little bit of a hold to the hair. A few of my favorites are the Christophe Rabanne uh, Daily Hair Cream with Sandalwood. This one is amazing, very, very nourishing. The Creme for Style by Orbe. This gives you some hold. Um, so my hair is wavy and it does get frizzy, so I need to use one of these products while my hair is still wet so before i put it in the bun or right after i take it out of the bun i'll use one of these products to help with the hold and the definition of the wave so another product like that is the finishing creme by the way and i really love that one as well gives you a little bit of a hold but it's hydrating all-time favorite right now is the gizu uh, polishing primer and this one is propolis infused I love how this product makes my hair feel. The consistency is so nice. It's just like, it's almost like a potion for your hair. It automatically makes it shiny. Love that one. It's multi-purpose too. So you can use it to heat style or um, when your hair is dry. So let's talk about hair oils. So I have two oils that are my favorite and go to. One is the Gizu one and the other one is the Way, the original, but I also love the Rose one. Um, this one I love to use when my hair is natural or wavy, if, they're, if it's styled wavy or naturally wavy. Um, this one I love to use when my hair is straight. Great. And that's just because the way the consistency, the Gizu one gives you a lot of nourishment and it tends to be, it's not heavy, but it tends to keep your hair more tame. Uh, whereas the Way one is very, very lightweight, so it's not going to grease up my already straight hair because when my hair is straight, it tends to get oilier easier. Let's talk about styling. So the only 
heat protectant that I have tried that's truly impressed me and I've used it again and again and again. It's the Leonor Grail by Foss and this one is an oil and milk um, mixture and it is incredibly lightweight but it does so well in the hair and gives so much shine never makes it greasy and it smells incredible texturizing sprays i have a few so like so i have my wave sprays and then i have my texturizing sprays um for my wavy hair and for my straight hair so i love the way wave spray i use this a few different ways my favorite way to use this is on blow dried like roughly blow dried hair then you put this on, then you put your hair in a bun, and then it gives you the shiniest, most pretty waves with a lot of hold, but never crunchy. For texturizing sprays are a little bit more complicated, so I love the way texturizing spray for both wavy and straight hair, but mostly for straight hair. And then for wavy hair, the Opera Beach by Orbe is incredible. So when I style my hair curly or wavy, I always use this and it gives it like a mattified shine and a lot of hold without it ever being crunchy. It's really touchable after, but it really extends the le the longevity of the hairstyle, which I love. Another spray that is texturizing is the Cool Girl by Sam McKnight. This one just smells divine. I would honestly just wear this for the smell sometimes, um, but it lives. It it gives you a lot of grit. Um, so I'll use it for volume or to create texture if there's no texture there, which usually there is because the way of my hair. But um, I just love how effortless it makes my hair look. Okay, last, this I cannot live without. I use this every single day. So it's like you wanna wake up and have perfect hair. This is what will give you that. So I'm getting ready every day. I will use this. So I'll spray a little bit all over and scrunch my uh, hair. And then especially uh, it helps my bangs stay kind of like, right there um so it has a little bit of hold it's conditioning it takes away any weird bends um it just makes the hair better um it smells incredible i think this is one of the most important categories for me i always opt for a powder dry shampoo so my favorites are the playa soft volume powder and even though this is made to give you volume because it is a powder it totally absorbs all of the oils um but it still stays clean in the hair so i love 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 that one and it smells incredible and then my other favorite is the Preta Powder by Bumble and Bumble. And this one um, is probably my third bottle. I've been using this for six plus years. And it's the only thing that works on my hair. Um, and it also extends my uh, hairstyle. Okay, so finishing touches. I love a hair perfume when it's appropriate. Um, so the Balmain Silk Perfume. I love this because it has nourishing ingredients. So it's a little bit of an oil and conditioner, but it smells incredible. And then the other thing is the Gizu Hair Perfume. And this one is an absolute treat. Um, if you want to start with a hair perfume, I would highly recommend this one. It smells incredible. It's like flowers and honey and freshness. Um, I absolutely love it. Okay, so let's talk about hair accessories. So I love silk scrunchies, as does everyone. And my favorites are from Playa and from um, Slip. Other favorite is from Slip, and these are the skinny black ones, but they have them in different variations. Um, I also have the thicker one. These ones stay on my hair a little bit better. And then I also love these from Playa, but everyone makes these, um, I guess it's like the bubble um, hair ties. And these ones from Playa are just a little bit different than the bubble ones because 
they stay um, very elastic even though they can expand quite a bit. So this tiny one can expand a lot and it never uh, breaks or tears and it always snaps back into place. One last thing that I've gotten a question on is my hair color. So my natural hair color is almost black. What I have been doing is lightening it with just hydrogen peroxide and uh, a very ashy blonde hair color. It makes a 20 or 30% of a developer along with a, any brand hair dye, permanent hair dye that's a very light ashy blonde um, and that will prevent any brassy tones. Um, so what I do is I take just strands of the hair. So I'll go in with a teasing comb and just select like this um a few baby hairs obviously not this much and then i'll paint that and that gives me the variation in the shade so i can just keep doing that um you know every three months or so and my hair doesn't show any damage at all uh, my ends are a little bit drier obviously but that's just my ends and i tend to trim those every three months as well so yeah that's how i do my hair color it's really easy and it's bleach free and it's um it's very inexpensive because I do it at home. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. I hope this wasn't overwhelming. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, or you can always DM me on Instagram. Make sure to follow me there for more tips and product reviews. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.